All right, big trade goes down. We've all been waiting months for it. So we thought we'd bring in one of the best, the GM, uh, former GM of the New York Rangers, Jeff Gorton. Gort, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well, Rupper. What's going on? Nice busy day in hockey. Yeah, right. It keeps us all on our toes when you wake up to this kind of news. So just the knee-jerk reaction to this. I mean, what are you thinking from both sides? I mean, right away for Vegas, you say, oh, they did it again. Right. And we all talk about how good they are and the need for center ice. And here they went and got, you know, one of the best center ice men there is. Uh, and for Buffalo, you know, I think they're in a tough spot and a uh, situation where they're able to recover some players uh, and trade Eichel, who's, you know, injured and some questions. So I think for both teams, I think they got what they were looking for. As a general manager, though, they, I, I was always curious in this because uh, what do I know? I mean, I, I, we all like to play GM, but you were actually an NHL GM where I, I'm sitting there thinking when we hear these rumors, whether it's Vegas or if it's, it's Calgary, I, I start to think, well, if I'm those teams, this trade has to start with player X uh, from both squads. And I'm thinking if it's, if it's Calgary, it's got to start with Matthew Kachuk. And if it's, you know, Vegas, it's got to start with Alex Tuck. I mean, how much does that goes into the equation? I mean, do you locate as a general manager? Okay. We've got to get this one player out of this deal. Well, I think so. I think they certainly, you know, you, you can tell they've been around the league and, and talked to teams and set the bar pretty high. Um, for sure, with Calgary, they were looking for Kachuk. Why wouldn't you? We were all looking for Kachuk. We all want a Kachuk on our team, right? Um, so you definitely do that. I, I think you also do it in a draft in a draft pick terminology, too, in the organization. You say, well, this guy's worth four first-round picks. What would equal that? Is Matthew Kachuk worth two first-round picks? Is Tuck worth one? Is it, so you're doing a lot of that in your, as you're evaluating what kind of offers you're getting and, and what, kind of, uh, what you're dictating to teams, what you want back. Yeah, it will, and then with Peyton Krebs, too, because you, you got to think, when we heard a lot of these rumors for these deals, you I was thinking to myself, you can't give up a centerman and not get a centerman in return. So, I mean, that's got to be a key, uh, a very intricate part in it, too, right? I think so. You, you know, you're talking about, you know, Eichel, you can say what you want, but it, it's it's maybe a top five centerman in the league. So you, you got to replace that. You, you definitely cannot have your center ice position go void. Uh, so Krebs, you know, there's, there's some upside there. Uh, is he an elite third line center? Is he better than that? Is he a second line center? Is he Mike Richards in his heyday? Uh, you know, you hear all those kind of conversations. So I'm sure they're very high on him based on the fact that they, you know, basically built the trade around him in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess the, the last part uh, my last question for you is, I think this is challenging as well is, is sitting there. I don't know if they view it this way, but, but for me, let's say Vegas or, or whatever teams were available in, in color, sorry, Calgary, we know about their great start to this season. How much thought goes into it where Jack's not going to be ready for a while. So how much does this kind of deplete an already depleted team in Vegas? Is that something to be concerned about? Or do you think they have this, in their mind they're playing out well we're in a division where we think we've got some leeway here we think we have a team that can stay in the hunt and just and just kind of tread water here till we get jack into the mix well i think the fact that he's got four more years after this at 10 million makes it more palatable that he's hurt now so in other words they can they can kind of go after it they're going to get a few kicks at the can with him um if he had one year left and he's hurt that makes it a whole different ball game right so I, I think that helps, and definitely the division they're in is going to help them too. They got to hang around 500 here with all these guys injured. They got about 30 million dollars on LCI rubber uh, of really good players. You know, Stone, uh, Pacioretty, and and, uh, and Eichel sounds like a pretty good first line to me, and it's on LTI. So um, they got to get through that, but they're in the right division for that. I think they're thinking this year, but they also have to be thinking big picture here. You got a guy for four more years after this that's one of the best players in the league. Hey, I'm just, I'm happy that uh, we all can move on here. This is a better league. We all can enjoy it more when Jack Eichel's playing. So that's first and foremost, he gets the procedure he wants to get done. And we hope the best for Jack moving forward and all these players involved. So uh, I appreciate it, Gort. You're the best. Thanks for coming on, man. Uh, no problem. Anytime.